He finished it. Could be better. Yes, yes. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy T to the Y. We back at it with another video. I said we back with another video. All right. Y'all tagging along with me today. I'm gonna run in PA. I'm about to go pull up, see if I get my car inspected. Cause I got 723s on here. So have been inspected for a couple months. The guy kept telling me, y'all know in the last uh, couple videos I tried, they get inspected. So it was on bullshit. Cause it said I had like three checks on there. You really supposed to just have one so you can, you know, get your car inspected. But we're gonna see. I got a little, you mean, shape up for my boy Mill. I mean, happy Thanksgiving to y'all. I mean, I hope y'all had a blessing with the fam. I hope everybody had a good time with the fam and shit. I had a great time. You know what I'm saying? I was up there with my girls, family. So, yeah, I had a great time. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mom Dukes, my pops. You know what I'm saying? They had a great time too, as well. And, uh, yeah. I want y'all to have a good one, man. I'm just trying to go get this car inspected today. And then, probably gonna end up seeing if I can get this, uh, make custom seat uh, brackets, the seat back a little bit. So that way I can have more leg room. Like, I mean, we did an extended, you know I mean? We did the best we can, me and Freddie. So I'm gonna see if we can, this can go back a little bit more by making some custom brackets. But yeah, we're gonna see. I'm gonna pull up to the shop. Let's see what's up. My gas price is 349 up here for some regular. Near my house is 319. So not bad. But yeah, man, I've been up, ate some uh, leftover uh, Thanksgiving food. It's about what about to be 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some pie when I go back in the crib, some ice cream. I know the vibes. But other than that, man, I just want to get on here, turn the camera back on, oh, and uh, vlog up for y'all for a little bit. You know what I mean? Just make y'all come along with me today. We about to get all that noise y'all here fixed. We gonna keep this in the in the video. Sometimes I'll be editing the, the editing out because that should be a little clunky. But we gonna get all that shit fixed. We gonna order the rear suspension and uh, knock that out too as well. That's one thing I haven't done on it. Uh, did on this car. I always paid attention more to the front because it was front wheel drive. So I replaced the whole front end with this car. But it might be a little loud in here. But I'll get back to y'all when I get to the shop. If y'all know me, I love hatchbacks, man. That's one of my favorites. That's nice, BMW hatchback. I think that's a three, maybe 328 or 335. That looks good though. But yeah, I don't got no check engine lights, nothing on the dash, no Christmas lights up here. So we're gonna see, hopefully Becky passed the inspections, man. She should, I mean, the check engine was on. Like it, before I unplugged the battery, it was never, on. it was on and then I got replaced the O2 sensors and then it went off and then after a while I, when i leave my cruise control on it acts funny so that was a check engine light but other than that let's see if we can pass inspections man i don't want to talk your head off but it's vlogging you fuck with the channel you fuck with me regardless of what i post so you know what i mean i fuck with y'all likewise you know what i'm saying just reciprocate the love that's it i'm gonna post some different channel uh shit on the channel too we're gonna turn it up a notch I got a lot of shit coming for the uh, Mercury too. I had ordered a lot of, uh, you know, uh, exterior, you know, for the hood, hood latches and stuff like that. The window latch in the back, the, like the shut, uh, what they call them? window uh, struts. So I ordered those. So the window, the glass in the back can stay up on its own and the hood can stay up on its own. I got the new center console thing too. Um, I ordered some keys so that way I can press the button instead of my, uh, just putting the key in or the uh, entry outside. So yeah, let me get back to y'all when we get done this inspection. They got another protege over there, y'all. Another P5, it looks good too. Loading everything. Got the stock exhaust on it. I got a new exhaust coming from the Mazda too. So I'm gonna definitely quiet this thing up a little bit. Quiet it up, fix the rear end so it can stop making that noise. We fixed one side of the part, but I thought it I thought it was just one side, so it's the whole rear end that needs to be changed. So I'm gonna order the Megan Racing uh, arms and shit, so, you know what I mean? We're gonna knock that out, and then she should be fine. Everything else, I replaced the front coils and got the same brand, TA Technic coilovers, when I first got it, so. I made it to the shop, y'all. Freddie said the Becky look good. This shit dirty, though. Oh! From the last time you saw it, yeah. You coming up? He has the welders exhaust. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm, I'm all set. Yeah, yeah, he said, well, it's awesome. See if he can fix mine now. Oh, shit, y'all. Ready to take his shit off. Oh, damn. Oh, you were up Yeah, I was up here, but you, you took the doors off. Oh, yeah, you did take the doors off. It was the end pizza. What's up, guys? Got daughter Randy D on it. Randy D on it. That shit look good with the Edelbrock gun on here. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. I don't know how much it's really doing me any favors, but... Mm-hmm. Oh, man. So, Jay's about to figure out exhaust leak on this. And, uh, yeah, and we're going to see if we need a fuel filter. It's getting a misfire, so... If you guys know anything before we figure it out, comment down below. <laughs> oh. Yes. This is big boy. themselves. 1997 Dodge Ram 1500 regular cab fuel filter replacement bolts. Where's the fuel filter located on my Dodge? The fuel filter is always going to be found between the fuel tank and the engine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? he's still here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Freddie and the guy got some shit done, you know? He didn't want me to put it on camera, but I'm putting it on camera. It's still a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? Rock arms, I believe. Yeah, you're gonna sand this down, paint it over. That yeah, right there. And then you know, do the rest. But for now he made a table out of his truck. <laughs> y'all, I couldn't get my car inspected as y'all seen probably in the last clip. We was just talking to Freddie, but um yeah. Can't get it inspected, it was closed. I'm not sure it's past Thanksgiving already, so it's Friday. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so JD and them is working on his truck for a final exhaust leak and a misfire. Uh, the truck's running a little off, so he's trying to, him and Freddy's gonna figure that out. I came over here to take my seat out to tighten this up from the side from last time. Let's get a little loose. This bolt right here. So yeah, uh, pop up everything from the inside and uh, tighten that up real quick. I was trying to make the brackets, but the way it's looking, the way it sits, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to because it sits flat right here. It sits on here flat. So if we make any brackets, how am I gonna get that to sit flat? From like the rear sits on here. So if I made anything, I would have to make something that screws on from the plate, notches on here, and then connects to the back of here. So, and then I'll have to make another bracket here, flat metal screw it down take a piece of steel and comes back to screw in back here so that's the only thing that we got to think about so if i take cardboard i could make a plate template and figure out from there because i can sit it back you know what i mean i could sit it from the front and then have the back move back a little bit more like you know what i mean so instead of it being right here being a stopping point maybe like an inch or two back here so I could come back and my knee could be a little bit straighter. So I don't know from that next point, but um, yeah. It would just take time for me to to do it right now. Shop is being occupied and it's a little cold out here. But other than that, I just wanted to, you know, tighten the seat up. I can take some cardboard and then maybe make a template real quick. Whatever you call it, template, whatever. But yeah, so uh, let me see if I could do that. I'm gonna go do that right now. All right, this is a template mock-up right here. Let's see, I'm gonna have to get a piece of steel, cut it towards like that, and it's gonna be a thick piece of steel to where back here will be another bolt in the back to pushing. The bolt will be sticking out. Where's the other one at? So the bolt will be inside of here, boom, sticking out from the back. So that way it can bolt on to the bracket back here, reverse. So it'll be sticking out from the back here, boom, like that. And I could put a bolt on the back of it and tighten it and have it sticking out from the rear. And then this side, I would just make a straight piece of steel to come back more so that way it could bolt on from the back, from here, and a bolt on from here, and it'd be a little bit more back measuring where it's supposed to sit. I mean, that's like the goal to make the seat come back a little bit more instead of ordering like any aftermarket brackets for me to sit it here and then push it back more. But we already, me and Freddie already notched out 
the, uh, as much as we can right here. As y'all seen in my last video, if y'all didn't, if you're new to the channel, me and Freddie made, well, Freddie made these, I didn't make them. Freddie, I came up with the idea, and Freddie put the notches in here for me to go back a little bit more than the stock ones right there. So we notched those two, and it used to be up front. So it gave me a little bit more clearance, but at the same time, it's not enough. I want more, so we're gonna see. See what's up. Freddie has some steel in there, but like I said, it's gonna it's not it's gonna take a little time because we gotta make it, grind everything down, make sure it's cool, paint them black. So you know, this car stuff is a process in itself, doing this stuff. But you know, the idea is there to make it right there. I can keep this because this has to, it still has to sit on here for you know for the weight. Screw this one in here with the steel. Back here will be another bolt poking out front. Like I just showed y'all like that. Screw it in the back, boom. And we need to just make this one and get the steel. And then trace it from here. So steel plate can stay here. Screw it in with this one, boom. It'll sit here and then come back as much as far as here. So that way, you know, nobody sits in my back seats. So I took out all the seatbelts. Took out all the seatbelts from the Mazda current owner and he had it i took all that shit out of there so it's only two seatbelts front driver and passenger that's it so yeah other than that nah, i'll probably just put it back together for right now and until we figure out what i'm gonna do all right you guys i made the other one so yeah i'll have to get some steel and uh yeah start cutting and making my own brackets but for now we're gonna just take this off tighten the seat up and uh, yeah, keep these so when that day comes, uh, might not be the day because a lot of shit else is going on. I'm gonna fill y'all in with some other stuff on the blog. I know y'all be tired of me working on Becky, but mostly y'all like Becky, so I like her too. So I can't complain. She's a good car. I would that me and Freddie was talking about uh, K swapping it. That'd be nice. Comment down below if y'all would love to see that. That'd be nice. But that'll be like later on once I get my own shopping shit. And I'll take it off insurance and then you know, registration and shit like that. And just sit it to her side and think about case swapping it. If I don't case swap it, the other bet will be taking it apart and rebuilding it. And uh, rebuilding the bottom end and then getting the turbo kit off eBay. And um, putting the turbo kit on here, smaller wheels, and just have some fun with it. And, you know, make it manual and shit like that. Because it's four-speed auto right now. So, uh, that's just, you know, thoughts and ideas. So, yeah. Y'all just let me know what y'all want to see. And right now, I just got a, a couple uh, notifications from my email saying that some of the stuff got delivered to the crib. So when I go back home, I'll show you all that stuff, too, for the Mercury. And uh, we'll start putting that stuff on the Mercury, too, and then uh, changing the oil and all that stuff. Probably do that in one video. So, yeah, y'all just stay tuned. Just wanted to bring y'all along with me. Told y'all we had to shop. We're probably about to go make some quick runs real quick. And, uh, yeah, y'all just tag along with me. Shit on my neck, deposit my checks, live with no regrets. RP Chris, we should have been next. Niggas, they tell me I'm nice every day. I'm in the field and I'm making a play. If you're not hustling, you in the way. Show me the safe for playing the safe. I used to sell apes, they smoke to the face. These niggas will lie for bitches to stay. Fuck on the ones, they kick out the place. She think we together, I'll let her be great. Niggas gon' hate, smile in your face. Niggas are snakes, watch out for your plate. I'm feeding the team, I already ate. Get to this green, put that in the bed. Jack it up. Work, 
Jaden's done, yo. Yes, sir, ski. I almost laid in some beer because of you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, but it looks good, bro. It's underneath the truck, bro. I'm about to be the best. This is good. But I definitely don't need the That's some doms. What are you talking about? This is good. He finished it. Could be better. Up on there, y'all. good. Fuck. Now you're done. Yeah, no. For now. Yeah. We replace everything else. Yep. The closing shop, y'all. Got the mods, the heat on right now. We finished the exhaust on Jaden's truck. So, yeah. Probably gonna catch you on the next one, man. It's probably gonna be the end of the video. It's freezing out this drone. But, yeah. Thanks for tuning in for me. You know what I'm saying? Staying with me to the end of the vlog. Probably been a little long, I'm not sure, but yeah. Appreciate y'all more than y'all know, man. More content coming. And uh, y'all just stay tuned. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.